what was the essential for the transformation? Thinking in your life, thinking everything happened to, to you. Plus to your question about how we really change consciousness. I realize that I, I don't have, I don't feel like I have an answer, but I have, but I can share my own process of looking for that because that is one of the things that gets me up in the morning. It's like, how do we change things from the kind of world that we have created where there are so many people, where there is so much wealth and so much resource and so many people who suffer, either because they don't have enough food or because they are working for people who extract their effort but don't give them enough in return, or whether they are treated differently because of how they look or how they think. How do we change that? People who come to psychology, the field that I'm in, and look for help and are, are told that their experiences are not real or that they just need to change their behavior or just need to think about it differently. Instead of being, instead of being met, instead of being received, instead of Instead of receiving, instead of meeting heart, they meet some theory, some, uh, some psychological theory of how to look at their situation differently, you know, just change their perspective on it. And, and those are good tools, don't get me wrong, but they don't meet heart. They don't meet a human being who cares. And my my search my process my inquiry into what can we do and the the the, the little piece that i have found to work on is to say how can we get more into our hearts and into our whole bodies because there is much more compassion in our bodies than there is in our minds. Our minds are for problem solving and for um, you know, analysis, but they are not for healing. Um, for that, we need the whole, the whole person. And so the piece that I, that I work for is to say, how can we how can we bring this to the people who are in our society given the job of, of helping those with, with challenges, whether it is medical doctors or psychologists, uh, people who have the training and the, and the social permission, how do we teach them it's great that they have their education and they develop their minds. That's all, that's all wonderful. But how do we then teach them how to bring their whole bodies? Because you, you, if you only have your, the mind in your head, you only have a small part of your soul. How do, how do we teach them? How do we find, how do we develop that? And how do we teach, how do we share that? How to awaken the rest of our being and to live in the rest of our being so that when we are doing our work to help others we are not just following theories and formulas but we are bringing all of who we are and meeting that person as a human being because in that in that space of connection we have I think more than any other place, and I don't just think, that's my experience. We have more than any other place, the magic that happens 
in connection, in shared space. It's not enough to sit with another person. I'm sitting in my chair, you're sitting in your chair, we're talking. That's, that's just conversation. But when I'm fully present and another person is fully present, there's, there's something that transforms in that moment. There is a magic that happens. And in that shared space, there is room to, for both, part, for both of us to move towards healing. So, um, that's what I, that's what I wish for, and that's what I work for, is how do we, how do we get that across? How do we, both in a world that relies on science, do the scientific work to give the evidence to show that this works because we know that it works. We've had the experience. Now, how do we translate it? It's like if you go to, if I go to, you know, live in Pakistan, it's like, well, there's a few people there who speak English, but if I want to have impact in Pakistan, I need to, I need to learn to speak the language. If I want to live in a scientific society and I want to communicate and I want to be heard, I need to learn how to speak that language. And yet at the same time, while I'm learning to speak that language, I have to make sure that I don't lose my soul. I need to be able to do the real science and I need to bring to it all of who I am, the intelligence of my whole body and my whole being and to be able to do that science, but to do it with my soul. That is my engagement with a small piece of the project that we all share, which is how do we make that change? How do we shift the course that our, that our world is on? and pointed in a direction where there is enough for everyone and there is compassion and there is a place for all the differences that we have that can be embraced and celebrated because it is the differences when we bring them together that makes us both more able and more and more satisfied and more happy. You gave me more than an answer. You moved me with this. As you said, first, we are on the same page is as I could speak the same. And but what you, you did is more than words. I felt you, as you said, in presence, being present, and to transmit when, when, because we can be able to maybe to get a state of consciousness, we are trained maybe to be in mindfulness, or, but the challenge to communicate this in the ordinary world, to the academic world, and to the other person in universal way, this is, this is the challenge. Start to communicate in by an integral, <laughs> as a person, as a whole person, as you did. I feel it. People, people feel this. I was perfect. I was very happy to listen this from you. It was great. <laughs>